And good morning everyone! Maganda umaga po! Uh, very challenging days ahead for PSEI. Uh, let me just adjust my camera. And, um, PSEI uh, manages to stay afloat above MA20 despite the very bad volume. Uh, net foreign selling pa rin po tayo and it's uh, around 180 million na net foreign selling. Uh, kahapon, at the middle of the day, went below MA20. Naging 8115 na lang si PSEI. But uh, late afternoon, uh, nag-recover siya. But this is something alarming. So I guess hindi pa gaanong talagang kalakas ang volume ni PSEI. And the trend is not yet there. Even though we have broken 8,400 already. And hindi nagtuloy-tuloy after that, sadly. And, um, focuses, uh, focus of the, um, the investors are still in the international market. Ganda pa rin kasi ng akyat na international market. Though yesterday, medyo na pull back market, but andun po nakafocus ang karamihan. Kaya po wala pong ganong foreign investors sa PSE. Sadly, but um, somehow we're managing above 8,200, I mean, MA20. Let's see what will happen in the future. This is gonna be very challenging for PSE, especially sa mga traders sa PSE. That's why I always recommend just stay invested na lang muna for PSE, okay? I have a few picks for today. Pag-usapan po natin ang mga ito. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions about your trading, anything, um, please post it on the comments so that we can talk about it. I'll go to the comments of the people. Again, good morning, everyone. Good morning to my daughter, Laika. And Carlo Turingan, good morning. Joe Ligares, good morning then. Ronald Ray Tome, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pa-insights kay IRC. Si IRC, may magandang news na naman kay IRC. Lumabas today. Let's check out IRC. And si IRC, pula siya yesterday but may ano ngayon, may uh, what do you call this? Uh, may Meron siyang ano ngayon eh. Um, news that went out today. But it's the same news. Ang gusto lang ko lang kay MRC is this, I mean IRC is this one right here. This is a very solid bottom for IRC. This is where you should be buying IRC. Right, that's a very solid bottom right there. That's their perfect entry point. And we are at that level. It's napakalapit po natin dyan. So, simulan nyo po mag I will strongly recommend IRC. Yung ganda po ng project nila dyan. Hindi pa lang po mapasok ang mga investors. Uh, for IRC, that's my recommendation. If it bounces, then I'd say it is a buy already. Uh, meron tayong downtrend dito. For the conservative ones, once this does a breakout from the that downtrend line right there, that's your entry point. That's your confirmation. And meron din tayong secondary na entry dito. If you, it gives you a support entry, then enter the support for IRC. Okay, abang lang. Hindi, hindi mo kailangan bumili every day. And si green, that's why I did not want to buy green here. Nakita nyo po. And then there it is. Bumaba si green. Um, it's very volatile right now. I don't want to recommend green. I want it to stabilize first. Maybe give me a good uh, bounce and support bounce before I really can recommend green. Since bad news po ang nangyari kay green. Eh. May bad news dito kaya nang, naging ganito. So, um, that should affect investors for green. So, I'm kind of shaky kay green. I don't want to recommend it yet. Aba. Si ABBA naman touched the upper Bollinger Band yesterday. So this is good signs for ABBA. I think this is gonna do a breakout. We have a strong resistance right here. So if you wanna enter ABBA, mala resistance, I mean, ano na lang, breakout na lang. Should you really wanna enter ABBA? Okay? Atong ganda na MA20 bounce ni ABBA. Eh. Right? Hopefully, mag-sustain yun. Right. Reynold Desus, anyong haseyo, Sir Lloyd? Anyong haseyo din? Carloy, Kaloy 62, good morning idol. Mag, uh, maganda HMO or health card? Um, this is a very good question. I want to answer this. Maganda ba? Ano ang maganda na HMO or health card? Ang problema sa HMO at health card is you are paying it um, every year pero ask yourself ilang beses lang po kayo na hospital in a year. Diba? The problem with HMO is hindi, hindi po mababalik sa inyo yan just in case na walang mangyari sa inyo or hindi kayo ma-hospitalize. What I strongly recommend is just save the money and use it, use it as your emergency funds. Emergency funds lang yan na nakatambay sa, sa, sa bank ninyo. Right? I don't you really recommend HMO kasi sayang po ang pera dyan. 
Siguro pag matanda na tayo, maganda yung health card since we don't have job anymore. If may trabaho kayo, meron na kayong health card for sure. Gamitin nyo, gamitin nyo na lang po yan. If wala po, emergency funds is best, right? Um, kasi monthly kayo magbabayad niyan eh. For example, yun lang. The biggest question is, how how often do you get uh, hospitalized? Yun lang ang biggest question dyan. Right? If halos hindi, then I will not recommend an H, uh, uh, HMO or health card. Right, should you really wanna ask ano maganda? Ano nga unsa gyud to lang sa pamikwa? Sa nindot ng isa mo health card. Um, Max Care. Max Care no. Try out Max Care for individual ano, for individual na 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 ano, for individual na HMO. It's not so expensive and yes, yeah, should you really want one? Yan po. Right. Ang recommendation ko lang is really just save the money. In case na may mangyari sa inyo, at least may emergency funds kayo. Or, uh, um, or ah, kasi ang problema dyan is, what if hindi kayo ma-hospitalized? Yung pera hindi kasi babalik sa inyo. Unlike the VULs or the, the uh, Insurance for Critical Illness and Disablement, diba? babalik sa inyo yan because that's an investment at the same time. Right, that's why I'm really, I really do not recommend HMO. Again, that's MaxiCare. Check out MaxiCare. Meron sila individual na, ano, na HMO. Okay, Charles. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Puro negative. Uh, prof ko ngayon, should I hold my stocks and wait? Uh, ah, ano. Um, is it in PSE? Negative ang port ko ngayon. So, should I hold my stocks and wait? If it's, if you're holding good companies, I'd say yes. Just hold it and then if you can even buy more at the bottom, if it's good company naman, um, the earnings in the future should propel the stock to go up. Right? Don't worry about the market right now. Right? If ever it, your, your positions go down, if they're good companies, just keep buying more unless you're trading them. If you're trading them, then you have to cut your losses. But if you're holding them, kasi ipit ka, but you're investing in them. Most probably, if you're holding them, you're investing them uh, in them. If they're good companies, you just buy more. The stocks will just go up. The earnings will compound. Because kahit hindi pansin ng mga tao yan, magstagnant lang yan. So after um, how many quarters, laging positive yung earnings niya. Tataas at tataas din yan. Kahit pa bumabags at bumabagsak yan. The, the earnings should surpass the value of the company that it will be considered very cheap and it will be attractive to investors. Aakit at aakit din yan. So don't worry about that. Emerald, maulang umaga, Sir Lloyd and family. Good morning sa inyo. Insights on ATN, MBT, please. ATN na-recommend ko yesterday. Let's see if pwede ba papasukin. Kasi umakit na yun eh. Right. It went up already. Did recommend this yesterday. If you can enter at this support right here, this is the best entry point. It has touching the upper Bollinger Band already, so most probably mag-momentum ito. Hopefully, mag-sustain na. It's just that, yun nga ang problema kay PSE ngayon. Ang liit ng volume, negative pa tayo sa foreign buying. Kay MBT naman, somehow MA20 is holding. So, MA20, use MA20 as your support should you wanna enter. Johan, Mina, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pacheck naman po si DNL and Tech. Si DNL, bodega lang for me as we're still at buy levels. We are at this level right here which is usually the buy levels of P, uh, of DNL. Okay? So, we're still there. So, bodega nyo lang po yan. Hindi po, hindi ko po alam of aket yan or hindi. What I know is, historically, this is the price where DNL starts to go up. So, you just buy here. If it goes further down and starts bouncing and support, you just buy more. Kasi pag lumipad na yan, kung hindi kayo bumili, baka maiwan na kayo. So, just test buy here. Just, yung bodega is... Whenever it dips or goes back to support, just keep buying it. This DNL is a good company. Aakit at aakit din po yan. Um, DNL and then Tech. Si Tech recommended Tech yesterday. Um, somehow it did not move but the support is still sustaining. So that's still good. As long as the support holds, I recommend Tech to, to, I recommend to buy Tech. All the best. Salamat. You're welcome. Johan Mina. Tommy Escobedo, good morning po, Coach Lloyd, and to all viewers, good morning din. Kaloy 62, August 1, begin of ghost month na business, bababa. Ba. O nga eh, yun ang problema, August 1 is uh, ghost month na. Um, that's why we're expecting for stocks to stagnate. Dapat ang hawak nyo po sa port ninyo, yung mga blue chips lang, na kahit bumaba, okay lang sa inyo. Um, it will be really hard to trade in the August month. Um, kasi it will go against technical analysis so pagalingan na lang yan for the newbies if you're watching this video most probably you're a newbie wag po kayo to trade 
um, on August. Wag nyo pong pipilitin wag trade. Wait for the trend, right? One of the best, one of the things you need to learn in trading is you have to be aggressive at the right time. Right now, kahit po hindi pa August, medyo mahina ang volume, mas hihina pa po ang volume niyan um, on August. So, that's to be expected. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na ano yan, but historically um na magkaka ma, mangyayari yan 100%, but historically speaking, even this downtrend na nangyari sa BSE in 2017 uh started in August, di ba? No, not August, February pala yun. But then anyway, yun, um nagrally yun and then ng August bumagsak eh. So we're expecting the market to drop again on August. So, wag po maging aggressive on August. Ride the trend of the market. If uptrend ang market, then most probably the, the stocks are gonna go up. And madali mo lang mag-trade. Right? If bearish ang market, then most probably the stocks are gonna drop down. Air Plata, sir, good morning. Congrats for being featured sa News Bites. Thank you so much. Uh, sir, ask ko lang po, sa Itoro, kapag po ba nag-set ng auto loss or profit, once na hit either of them, automatically close na yung trade. Thanks, sir. Yes, a very good question. Yes, automatically po maka-close ang trade. Yun. If you just risk and this is your uh, plan stop loss, pag na-hit yan, lalabas yan. Also, for your target profits, pag na-hit yan, lalabas din yan. Kahit natutulog kayo, magkitik profits yung position ninyo. Francis Fahilan, good morning. Mark J.P. Gonzalez. Hi, sir. Marhay na. Oops, mababa. Taka lang ha. Marhay na aga sa Gabos uh, Have a great day sir Shout out din sa Bicol Investor Society Good morning po sa inyo lahat Mark JP and the Bicol Investor Society Nga pala guys A little request on my, from my end um, Please share the video share po ang video Sa mga Facebook calls po ninyo Para naman yung mga kaibigan ninyo Ma-curious sila about the stock market and investing also, share this to your trading groups. If you have any trading groups or investment groups, share this so that among the newbies doon, they will know that there's a program like this that can help them in their stock market journey. Air Plata, Sir Insights po kay FB. Megan Vita, si FB nag-bounce yesterday. So this is good. FB starting to stabilize. Hindi, wala pa tayong engulfing pattern, so it's still shaky for me. Still volatile on the negative side. Um, Meg... I cannot recommend that yet because I want it to stabilize further. So Meg naman, um, after the breakout, hindi na nag-sustain eh. Bumagsak eh. Let's see if it will recover back to this support. But right now, medyo tagilid si Meg. And mataas na kasi masyado rin si Meg. Right? Masyado mataas na yung trend niya. Yun yung ayoko sa ganito mga nasa taas na. May hirapan na po yan umakit lalo. And then Meg Vita. Right, so, si Vita, recommended Vita yesterday. This bounce has still been sustaining. So, pag nag yan, that's a buy again for today, si Vita. Yan, keep, uh, buy as long as the support holds for Vita. Maria, Christina, Nicolata, ano play pong ginawa sa loto kahapon? Ang galing. Um, people just, ano, this is what I've been saying. Babagsak si loto. But then again, you know that yung news na yan, most probably is just temporary. Yan. So this uh yung mga yung mga ano yung mga uh what they call this yung mga natakot nagbenta but the wise ones found this as an opportunity. Yun yung sinasabi ko tulad ni ABS-CBN, di ba? ABS-CBN pag bumalik yung franchise na yan Aakit din ka agad yan. So, catch the bottom of this. Kasi si Lotto, I believe temporary lang naman yung ano niya. Temporary lang naman yung mga bad news when it, uh, sa yung binigay ni President Duterte. Once na ma-resolve na yung um, mga issues sa, uh, uh, what you call this, sa PCSO and they set up plans already, Lotto should go back up. Right? And other stocks involved, it should go back up. That's why people just bought the drop, yung mga nagbenta, yung mga nagpanik eto yung sinasabi na buy the fear, <laughs> di ba? Si JFC, binili lang yung bagbagsak ni JFC, binili lang ng mga natakot. Right? It's an opportunity for those na naghahanap ng ma ma magandang presyo. Sila Lotto, once ma-lift yung ano ni President, aakit din naman yan. And I think, resolvable naman yung issue na yon. It's just that, um, pinag pinakitaan lang ng President ng example. Yan. Yan. Um, 
those who are who knows the politics behind this most probably cut cut it at the bottom and ayan naggain ka agad yung mga sumalo sa baba Honey ka big thing good morning coach and like a JFC PXP um and MRC po JFC waterfall yun eh this is called uh, nga pala this is called the uh, waterfall strategy by the way a gap down massive gap down right um nag nag mag ano yan mag mag magba-bounce yan after an exaggerating move um and as in JFC si JFC naman the next bounce of JFC actually nag-bounce na siya eh. the next green of JFC that's a buy so actually ang ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo whenever Jollibee dips and then you see a bounce bilhin niyo na po then every if it dips and bounces just keep buying it this is a good company JFC the next bounce kay JFC bilhin niyo na po yan that's a very good opportunity to be able to buy JFC at 240 um PXP Si PXP naman recommended it yesterday umakyat na I don't want to recommend it anymore. The risk is too high already. Na shadow malayo na siya sa MA20. MA20 is our support. So congratulations sa mga pumasok kay PXP yesterday. I think aakyat pa in the next coming days. Um MRC, we have a support for MRC. Um yung volume nga lang hindi nagsustain. Eh. Let's see if it will Yeah, I think the support will be holding for MRC. Anyways, overall napakamura pa rin ni MRC. So yeah, pag nag-green yan, I would say buy, buy pa rin sa MRC. Okay, hop sir, sa laki ng pullback ng Facebook, uh, sir, laki ng pullback ng Facebook, chart request po FB for both local and international. Si FB, I just want this to stabilize before I can say na pwede na natin ulit bilhin, pababa eh. Right, we are still dropping. Si FB sa international market, yes, ang lakas ng pullback right there. Negative ako kay Facebook, right? Pero maganda naman yung earnings ni Facebook. It's just that, oh, my God, send, uh, love, ba? It's just that the market sentiments kay Facebook is not there yet. And bumabagsak po siya. Uh, my cut loss is almost hit. I'm using MA20 as my support. Um, ito, ito yung... Hala. Ito yung Facebook position natin. Negative 2% po ako kay Facebook for today. Um, baka mag-cut loss ako niyan If ever ma-hit yung 3% na risk appetite ko Right now Okay pa, sit tight lang Baka mag-recover rin si Facebook Nag-pullback rin kasi ang um, Nasdaq and uh, Ano kahapon eh Ang mga markets yesterday So uh, pullback was bound to happen On the, ano, on the international market So nagpo-pullback siya um, Mark J.P. Gonzalez Sir, rank mo po in order of your preference entry. Breakout, bounce at support, MA20 pullback. Una is MA20 pullback. Why? Because that's an uptrend. Number two is bounce at support. Kasi support po yan, even if it's on a sideways trend, you can still earn on a sideways na trade. And then breakouts po. Last po ang breakouts usually for me because um, especially sa PSE, Uh, mahirap po ang breakouts kasi medyo mataas yung prices usually after that. Eh. Mark JP Gonzalez DVM Sir, what are your top undervalued na bugbog na stocks? Top undervalued na na bugbog na stocks? ABS, number one. The most undervalued stock right now is ABS-CBN. Um, ano pa ba? Same with Lopez. Lopez is undervalued right now. Um, sino pa ba? Ito may isip ko na top na undervalued eh. Ito yung pinaka undervalued na stocks right now. Makita nyo po yan sa call financial niyo. Go for ano, go for call financial and then punta, puntahan niyo po yung um tawag nito, uh, investment guide nila. Andun po yung mga undervalued stocks makikita niyo po doon. Ketamine, good morning sir. Ano po magandang broker for long term sa PSE? AA Equities for trading ko. Mm. Ano maganda broker for broker for long term sa PSE? Actually all brokers are good for long term. Um to trade First Metro A equities are good also. Arfe, good morning. Surely Medina sir your views on ICT and Tel. Si ICT the downtrend pa si ICT after a very strong trend. It's bound to happen soon. That's why I did not I I really did not want to recommend ICT. Kasi masyado mataas na po siya. 
I did recommend ICT here. This is one of our biggest catches and here and here. Right? And then after that, sunod sunod na pag aket ni ICT. Uh, we we're talking about ICT since uh, after this drop right here. Anyways, um, that was from the past. Ngayon, nag drop na naman si ICT. This is good opportunity for those who are looking for bargain kay ICT. Malapit na po siya mag oversold na levels. So, bangan po natin. Right now, it's still volatile on the downside. Also, with um, Tel, downtrend pa po si Tel ngayon. Stay away lang muna. Negative pa ang sentiments kay Tel because of the third telco. Malaking chunk po ng market ni Tel ang makukuha because of the third telco. Hindi lang yan. Right? Not just a big chunk of the market, but prices po. Magbabagsakan ang prices ng telco once the third telco comes out. So, that's gonna affect Tel and Globe a lot. Right? So, I'm expecting a drop from these companies for now. Charles, PSE, Sir Lloyd, thank you so much po. You're welcome. Sa Elal, Mag Fira. Good morning. Nelmark Samar, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Si Eli. Hindi ko kilala tong company na to eh. Right? But it's stabilizing. Kumusta na natin yung earnings? 4 per 6. Uh, annual earnings negative 6. This is very stable already. Baka pumuntok to anytime soon. Very stable support should you wanna test it out. Hindi ko kilala lang ito. Yun yung problema ko. But technical analysis wise. Yeah. This is a very stable support already for Eli. I'd say yeah. You can test it out. Baka, baka mag burst up ito eh. Si Ellie. Para pag bumagsak. Napakasakit kuya Ellie. <laughs> De, pero, well, it's a very big support already for Eli. Yeah, this is a good find, right? Technical analysis wise. John Vincent Pleto, good morning, sir. Lloyd. SPC and food. Si SPC, kung stay na natin na recommend ko ito the past few days. Eh. No. And then we are able to cut, catch it going up. Ang problema ko kay SPC, very good momentum. Pero, MA20 po, dun po tayo mag-abang. Nasa taas po kasi naglalaro sa SPC ngayon. I don't like to recommend it there while it's while it's up there. Pero baka may momentum pa. If you know how to momentum trade, right? The momentum, baka umakit pa yun sa SPC. Si food naman, right? we have a support for food. Kaso nga lang, this is a descending triangle. So, this is a bearish pattern. Um, antayin lang natin mag-fail yung bearish pattern niya. Breakout po. This is a... Uh, uh, if ever it breaks out, the price breaks out from this uh, descending line right here, that means that the bearish pattern has failed and it's gonna go up again. So that will be our entry point. And then just cut loss on the nearest support. Travador, good morning, Sir Lloyd. M-Wide, please thanks. M-Wide, recommend ko kahapon. It's giving us good prices already. Um, Umakit na siya. Uh, Was that yesterday or the other day? I think yesterday ko recommend recommend M-Wide, right? Um, yeah, um, M wide. Kalang ha, baba ng chair ko. Hey, I wanna introduce you to Berlitoy. This is Berlitoy. I say hi, Berlitoy. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, M wide. Nakaakit na si M wide. Eh. Yesterday was the best entry point. If ever it gives you an opportunity to go back down to support, that will be a good entry point for M wide. Um. Next up, Philip Santillan. Good morning, sir. Uh, Lloyd, pwede pa bang pumasok kay MRC Allied and PXP? MRC, yes, it's giving us good prices right now sa MRC. It's forming a good support right here, 1 and 2. And yeah, that should be a good entry point for MRC. Overall, napakamura pa ni MRC. So yes, I would say that's still a good entry point. And paakit na po yung momentum ni MRC. Umabot lang siya ng RSI na mas sadyo mataas kaya nag back And then there it is again. Uh, that should be a good entry point for MRC. PXP. PXP recommended PXP yesterday. Masyado mataas na. I don't want to recommend that. Si Tugs, medyo bumagsak pa si Tugs. Um, Tugs is very cheap right now. I'd say, just keep bodega kay Tugs. Mag bodega kay, kay Tugs if ever ipit kayo. I was planning for mid to long term kay Tugs. Entered here, bought more here. And I'm planning to buy more if it stabilizes and creates a new support. Um, and yung mahirap eh, it's really hard to catch the bottom of a stock. But for stocks that are very cheap already but for a good company, ang ginagawa ko po dyan is I go for midterm to long term. I just buy, keep buying the dips and then, because alam ko po na aakit yung stock na yan if it's a good company. And yes, this is a good company. So, I'd, I'd say this will still go up and then once it goes up, you're gonna be in a very good position pag binodega nyo po yan si Tugs. Um, 
sa Elal, Magfira, Sir Lloyd, how to access to FXCM? How to get access to FXCM? I see you're using it for international market along with eToro platform. Um, Nakafocus ako kay um, eToro ngayon eh. For FXCM, depende po yan sa brokers ninyo eh. I'll, 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 ano, um, I'll research more about that so I can give you a straight answer. Right now, I can't give you a uh, straight answer for that. One back, tas may munta. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. SSI po. Si SSI. Hmm. Downtrend pa si SSI, guys. I don't want to say this is a good bounce. Really hard. Because the volatility, the volatility is pointing at the downside. And SSI is already too expensive for me. Last na ng akyat nito. I can't recommend SSI for now. Okay? Antayin ko lang mag-stabilize yun ulit. Maybe at this support right here. Um, sorry. Hey, sound check. Kasi wala sound. Um... Noel Taranco, good morning coach. Pakisuyo po ng PNB. One of the good climbs right now si PNB. And then, nag, ano lang, nag pull back. Yeah, PNB, malapit na ito mahinog. Alright, we have a good support right here. Most probably, will start bouncing at that support. Actually, the price is already stabilizing. It should bounce anytime soon. Abangan nyo na po yan. Most probably, in the coming days. Baka bukas, ma-recommend ko ito pag may green na. Pero pwede nyo na po ang, um, pwede nyo na po itong testing in. Right, our Mama Real 63, Mr. Lloyd. Good morning. Any comments about Petron Picor? Si Picor. Um, Picor, I thought the support nito eh. Actually, anjan parin yung support niya. It's just that overall, it's still on a downtrend. Okay. Um, best entry for Picor. I tried to test out the bottom of Picor, but ended up failing. Kala ko magsa stabilize na siya. But for conservative purposes, we have a clear downtrend right here for P core. Okay, best entry point break out from that downtrend. In P yung pinakamagandang entry point talaga for P core, so that we'll know if may reversal na tayo or hindi. Now, Julius Calera, good morning, Sir Lloyd. VUL, si VUL nagbounce yesterday, di ba? VUL, VUL. Ayon, bounce si VUL yesterday. Ang hirap. Ang hirap, mahirap. Another green today should be a good entry point. At least, mag-breakout siya sa downtrend niya. That should be a good entry point to test out VUL. Ang kagandahan po niyan, pag nag-breakout yan, we have a support right here that we can use as our basis sa kung saan tayo lalabas for VUL. Any green today should be a good confirmation to buy VUL. PPG, um, MA20 bounce, good job sa PPG. Um, yeah, PPG, MA20. Use the MA20 as your support should you really want to buy a PPG. That's still good to buy, I'd say. Um, uptrend pa po yan. Um, 8.45, time check. Mark, JP. Insights po kay HI. HI, we've been monitoring HI for the past. Ano eh. Kasi somehow, yung support niya nagsusustain naman. Um, recommended HI on the support, I mean the MA20 right here. Somehow, hindi nagsustain yung MA20 but creating a support right here. I'd say yes, use this support as your, ano, as your basis for entry kay HI. Hindi yung maakit eh. Mary Christina Nicoleta, applicable din po ba sa ghost mat international market? Somehow, yes, it has an effect. Pero, usually na overcome ka agad sa international market eh, sa ghost mat. Right? Dito sa Asia, very prevalent ang ghost mat kasi marami in-check na investors. Sa international market, not that much. Mary Christina Nicoleta, applicable din po ba? Ayun, nabasa ko na pala. Sales, uh, sir, good morning. Insights po kay Meg. I'm still holding Meg 6.0. Kailan po ako magka-cut loss? Thanks. Right, depende po. Uh, Meg, ano ba yung entry po ninyo? Are you using an MA20 entry right here? So, dapat nakapag-take profits na kayo. Broke MA20. Delikado yung position mo. Dapat nakapag-take profits ka na. Sayang yung akyat eh. Um, on the other half, I'd say try to break even na lang if ever. Kasi hindi natin alam saan pupunta ito eh. Baka bumalik ito. It even broke MA20. For Meg. Ang cut loss mo is if you entered at 6. 
the most probably this is your support right here so the best cut loss is here if you're really um planning to cut loss pero dapat kapag take profits ka dito and then just break even on your other half but overall your trade was again emily gold tiano good morning sir Lloyd. insights kay not gas and oil si not gas nag all town uh, nag 52 week low si Natgas eh. I'm waiting for Natgas to stabilize. Medyo downtrend pa si Natgas but napakaganda na ng presyo nito. We're, we're reaching overall the cheapest areas of Natgas. Malapit na po itong mahinog. Abang lang, abang lang. Very volatile right now. We really can see uh, where the reversal will happen. But anytime soon, Natgas should Nat, Natgas should do a reversal. Abang lang tayo. And for oil, si oil Uy, support bounce na pala to si Oil eh. Hindi ko napansin si Oil ah. Yeah, this is already good for Oil. Dapat ang ganda na ng entry nito. <coughs> 57 for Oil. Yeah, that's good. For, that's a good price for Oil. Um, 57. I'd say yes, this is good. Use this area as your support. Itong 56. Around 56 pesos. Ah, 56 dollars na area for Oil. Fea Avelino, good morning sir. Available po ba? Fa public viewing yung seminar last Saturday. Hindi ko po makita sa page nyo. Thanks and more power. Yes, nasa ano? Nasa Facebook page ko po. That's available for public. Just go to my Facebook page. Sorry. Just go to my Facebook page and go to the videos. Kung makikita nyo po kaagad yung post. Uh, at ito yung ano eh. Ito yung video kaagad makikita nyo po dyan. Actually, it's just here. Um, episode 2, The Rich Mind. Or you can go to videos. And makikita nyo po dyan. The Rich Mind. Siguro yung feature video ko ito. Um, can I edit my feature video? Uh, yeah, I'll use it as my feature video, featured featured build video, <laughs> and para makita niyo po kaagad. Just go to videos, makita niyo po kaagad yung la last na episode. Okay, um, going forward, Jerin Marasigan, good morning Sir Lloyd, Aba po, ito si Aba, maganda eh. pero... Um, breakout lang, ambang lang tayo ng breakout kay Aba kasi masyado malapit na in si Nanet Mill, yung paborito niyang AEV. AEV, kamustayin natin. Bumabalik sa support si AEV Mel, Nanet eh. Right. We're able to cut, catch AEV on this breakout. Umakit lang ng konti pero bumalik rin kaagad. Sadly, the market is very slow. But yeah, um, the support has um has been confirmed again yesterday. This is the best entry point. If ever, gusto natin pumasok pa kay AEV. Somehow, the support is sustaining. So, that's still good for AEV. PXP, masyado mataas na. Recommended that yesterday. Gerald Manalo, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Insights kay Ani RCB. Si Ani, ang ganda ni. Um, very, giving us very good entry point si Ani. Right, ang ganda ng bounce ni Ani yesterday. Again, just keep buying the dips of Ani. This is the support of Ani. Um, actually... Yeah, I would recommend Ani. I'll add Ani on my ano. I'll add Ani to my recommendations for today. This is good for Ani. This is a good move. That um, in confirmation bounce yesterday just um shows you that there's still buying in Ani. Uh, wala pa nga lang momentum on the buying, but people are trying to buy Ani at the support. So yeah, I I wanna add Ani on my recommendations for today. And then RCB. See si RCB. Ayun, lumipad na si RCB. Breakout siya. Should you want to enter, let it drop and then hopefully it gives us a bounce at that breakout level from the previous resistance. And then that should be our entry point for RCB. Should you want to enter RCB. Um, bell po, silang bell. Si bell drop yesterday and then sa baba, umakit din kaagad. <laughs> um, too volatile for now. I cannot recommend bell really if ever though it drops further i'd say just buy it if ever it, it gives you if gives you a drop test buy it kasi masyado mura na yun kay bell this has been the cheapest for bell for the past few months good morning sir lloyd rick mamaril po any update about petron wala naman akong alam for petron for update maybe we missed something 
Uh, mayroon bang update si Petron? Um, news? Uh, yeah. So, Petron nakabayad ng utang. Disbursement posted progress report. Um, nothing significant. But this is good for Petron. Nakapagbayad sila ng utang nila. So, that's good. Vanexel Elser, good morning CHP and BDO po. BDO, I'm still recommending BDO. It's in my recommendations ngayon si BDO actually. Si CHP, ito very challenging to huliin si CHP. Nag-break siya sa downtrend niya and then there it is. CHP has been going up after that. Masyado mataas si CHP actually ngayon for me. I cannot recommend it. We have a very strong resistance right there. Um... Not much, uh, not enough uh, risk to reward ratio for me. Too, too, too near na yung resistance niya. Hopefully, it gives us a pullback and bounce. And then the bounce should be the best entry point for CHP. Alright, good morning, sir. BPI po. Si BPI, kamustahin natin yung pullback ni BPI. Ayan pa rin eh. Very challenging yung pullback ni BPI right now. But it's forming a, a pattern for us. A breakout from that pattern should be a good entry point for BPI. Right, kung gusto niyo po pumasok kay BPI. Actually, BPI overall is still very cheap. Mala mataas-taas pa pwede i-akit niyan. So yeah, breakout from that pattern lang si BPI. Right, that is called, I forgot the name of the pattern. Ang dami kasi eh. I'll, I'll, I'll look for it. Is it here? In this pattern right here? Um, bullish flag pattern? Yes, I think this is the flag pattern. Hindi eh, ganito yung, hindi naman symmetrical triangle yung form, form niya. It's either a pennant or a uh, uh, bullish, uh, it's a flag pattern, yeah. Yeah, ito. Yes, it's a flag pattern. So, breakout po niya ng entry point natin. So, abangin niyo po ang breakout ni BPI. Nag-aabang lang ako actually. And then, I'll be recommending it once the breakout happens. Good morning, Sir Lloyd MB, please. Thanks. It's MB. Ganda na ng support nun na. What's happening to the support? Ah, the support is still holding. So, I'd say, yeah. If you wanna test out MB, the next green should be a good entry point for MB. Uh, kasi maganda support yan. Test, test pa lang. Malito ng pera. Anyways, that's still sideways naman na stock. Argel Mendoza, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. Sir, ask ko lang po, kapag naka-CFD po ba sa international market, okay lang po ba siya gamitin sa mga long-term stocks? Yes, that's not a problem. Ganun rin naman yan eh. It's just that the stocks are not named after you. Ang importansya kasi for the stocks to be named after you is if the, uh, if the company goes bankrupt, may claims pa kayo at malapit nyo po. Okay? Um, sa CFD, makaklaim nyo pa rin naman yung pera. Right, is ang kagandahan lang kay CFD na trading is you you can buy even a uh, one fourth of the stock. That's the advantage of it. Yun lang ang pinaka difference niya. It will not be named after you uh, under your name. Anyways, international market we're we're only dealing with very good companies naman. Wala naman tayong takot na baka masarayan anytime soon. You can always sell the stocks. That's not a problem. So naming the stock under you is not really a an issue. Right, so it's uh, to answer your question. Yes, okay, lang mag long term with CFD. Chairman Zano RLC sell na sir. RLC, kung say natin ang ganda na ng akyat ni RLC. Yeah, I'd say sell. You already sell off RLC. Uh, we're already seeing weaknesses for RLC on the climb. Napatak pag sell off na kayo. Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay RLC. This is a very obvious entry point right there. Oh, and then there it is. It was going up after that. After it did the breakout. Richard New, good morning. Clarence Bautista, Sir PPG and IDC. Si PPG, uh, shadow mataas na. Ayun, PPG, use the MA20. Si PPG pala yun. PPG, use the MA20 as your entry point. A recommended PPG here. And then, pull back na. There's the entry point again for PPG. For MA20, bounce. Yes. Entry point na natin kay PPG yan. IDC. Si IDC, shadow mataas. Wait for the pullback. Hopefully, it gives us a pullback. If not, then... Let it go, right? Let it go. Ganun lang yan para sa mga nakalipad na stock. Joan Masipa, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Sir, si Sipo, same with ISM, still stabilizing. Right? We have a confirmed support here for C. I'd say, yeah, just, anyways, for, uh, depende yan. If ever, kung gusto nyo mag long term, I'd say, yes, this is a good entry point. And for the traders, yeah, we have a support right here. At least we are at a low risk position pa rin if you want to enter C. 
yeah, I'd say I'd recommend C, especially for long term. Air plata sir, morning. Um, uh, pakonting walk through naman po sa eToro. Little walk through for eToro, right? Um, yeah, I'll make this quick. Um, once you create an eToro account, oh, nga pala guys, for eToro. If you're interested to trade in the international market, which is I'm inviting you to, yes po, please trade the international market. Napakaganda po ng volume na international market and mas malaki po ang chances of winning in the international market because of the volume. Right, let's put our waters, uh, dip our feet in those waters. Sayang po ang pera na dumadalo sa international market. On the stocks that I'm playing alone, $2 trillion a day po, tumumapas, um, nag gumagalaw na pera dyan. So let's take a piece of that pie. International market, I use eToro. If you want to join me and uh, um, thousands of eToro traders all around the world, millions pa nga eh. Sa Pilipinas, marami na po tayong eToro traders. If you want to join us, um, create an eToro account. Please use my link. Ang link ko po sa eToro uh, ko is down at the video description. That helps the channel a lot. Please use my link. Make sure you use my link. If hindi nyo po nagamit ang link ko, please send me a message so that I can check it out. And and um ma ano po natin ma gawan po natin yung solution because that helps the channel a lot also you can join future um what they call this future uh promotions ni itoro for those who are under me so make sure please if you uh pl please make sure you use my account um itoro here this is itoro this is how it looks like this is the dashboard very important makikita nyo po dito on the left side um, ito po yung watch list kung mayroon kayong watch list makikita nyo po click on the port makikita nyo po portfolio nyo news feed and this is the social uh, social part of um, stock market uh, lahat ng mga nasa watch list ninyo lalabas po dito Starbucks <coughs> <coughs> sorry Starbucks yan po yung nasa watch list ko kayo lumalabas po yung mga feeds uh, sa Starbucks um, trade markets if you click on trade markets makikita nyo po dito ang pwede nyo po i-trade is crypto if you wanna trade crypto ETFs, um, exchange traded funds, makita nyo po dyan, um, andyan po sa AAJX, very good, um, uh, very good funds if if ever you like funds, you can trade stocks, indices, ito yung mga indexes like PSEI, pero wala po si PSEI dito kasi masyado maliit si PSEI, um, Australia, China, Nasdaq 100, if you think the, the Nasdaq 100 is gonna go bullish, you can trade it here. Right, pwede pong ganyan. And then, you can trade commodities. Commodities, the common commodities, oil, gold, silver, copper, not gas, and platinum. Pwede nyo po i-trade yan. And then, currencies, pwede nyo pong forex dito. Right? You can trade forex here, but not all. Only the major currencies. Euro USD, GBP USD. Kung mahilig po kayo sa forex, which is very good. Ang ganda po ng forex. You can here. Okay? Um... And then here is the copy people. You can search for people here to copy. May fini feature po dyan na mga magagaling na traders. Um, pwede nyo po makita ang statistics nila. For example, this guy, Oliver Danville. I recommend you copy this guy also. Look at his stats. He's already up 0.98 for this month, for July. But amazing stats. Nakita nyo po all green yan. That's the beauty of eToro. I saw a discussion about um, yesterday about eToro's copy, uh, copy trading. Bakit daw tayo? Um, bakit daw... Maganda, uh, bakit hindi maganda i-trade dito kasi itong mga taong ito like me are not um, wala po kaming certificates hindi po kami certified ng mga fund managers but the beauty here is we are um, placing our name on the line with the statistics makikita nyo po ang kagandahan po na, um, ka, ng e-toro is though we are not certified uh, fund managers uh our statistics are very transparent. Makikita nyo po yan if malulugi kami or how our performance are compared to those certified ones. Hindi nyo po makita ang, 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 ang performance po ng mga, ng mga andyan. So it's up to you if you wanna copy trade people. If you wanna copy trade people, makita nyo po dito how good this guy is. 76% um, profitable. Actually, all the months profitable siya sa trades niya. Okay, and then that's for copy people. And then one of the features I wanna give you is this copy invest and copy for portfolios, copy copy portfolios like Libra portfolio. Ato yung mga lahat ng companies na nag so working for for Libra, Facebook, Mastercard, Visa, very good companies. 
right there. Crypto takeover, lahat ng mga cryptos na magaganda, pwede nyo po i-take yan dyan. Renewable energy, this is parang thematic na mga funds. Pwede po ang mga into renewable energy. If you think renewable energy is the future of energy, then you can invest in this fund. Um, ang gusto, um, pwede po si Carl Ikan or pwede po si Warren Buffett po ang invest ninyo. Si Warren Buffett ang magkano ang gains ni Warren Buffett, ganun rin po ang gains ninyo. Okay? Pwede pong ganyan. And then, ito more, uh, just invite friends, help. Um, this is gonna be a very helpful site for you. Itong help na ito. Andiyan po lahat mga kailangan ninyo. Kailangan ninyong itanong. Right? And then, there's deposit funds and there's, there's withdraw funds. If you wanna withdraw your funds, you can click here and then, maka, ma, ano, ma-withdraw po ninyo ang balance ninyo should you want to. Okay? And then, deposit funds. Should you wanna dis deposit funds, you can use credit card or um, PayPal or white transfer, Union Pay, Skrill. Right. Pwede pong ganyan. This is how you deposit. This is, uh, that, that was just a quick walkthrough for eToro. Okay, sir, tech po things. Tech is, tech is still holding the support. So, I'd say yes, tech is still a buy. Pag na green yan, definitely a buy. Sir, PHA po, same with PHA. Just keep buying the support of PHA. And dyan po tayo sa support area for PHA. That's still good to go. Ken Harvey Abuel, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Bago po ako dito, can you check Emperador today? Good morning, Ken Harvey Abuel. Welcome to the Daily Grind. Ah, guys, this is the reason why I want you to share the video. Para na ba mga newbies? Malaman nila there's a program like this that can help them. This is a good This is good support for Emperador, right? Mm, best entry point for Emperador is here. Uh, major resistance is here. So yeah, uh, risk to reward ratio is still good for me. Pwede pang uh, testing yan. Good morning, Coach. Pasilip po ng Tugs. Tugs is bodega lang. Bumababa pa si Tugs. So that's a good company right there. So pag bumababa yan, that's an opportunity. Just keep buying more. Um, Georgina si Fen IRC and EW. Si Fen... Ganda na MA20 bounce defend eh. If you want to enter FEN, use the MA20 as your entry point and support. IRC, I'm recommending IRC once na green yan today. And then EW, ito si EW. Yesterday, I recommended it. Umakyat na siya. Yeah, pwede pa pasukin si EW. So use the MA20 as your support for your entry for EW. I'll stop with Georgina C for now. I'll go to my recommendations really quick. Anyways, konti lang naman ang recommendations ko. Apat lang. We've already talked about most of them. Um, those are my picks. And then po sa comments natin. SCC. SCC after, uh, is on an uptrend right here. We do have a resistance right here, but we just bounce at MA20. MA20 bounce po for SCC. Hopefully, magtuloy-tuloy yung uptrend niya. This will be the test. Uh, this will be the third time na test ni SCC ang, ang resistance na yan. But I guess the trend should be strong enough to go, go and break out from that support. I mean, resistance. SCC. Perfect entry point at MA20. Next is BDO. Alright, si Bidu. Um, if you know, Bidu had very good earnings. That's why I'm recommending it, especially for long term. Perfect entry point at MA20. Wala lang investor. But man, that's why that's the reason why I'm recommending BDO for long term. Look at that earnings of BDO. 43%. Right? If you can you can look further into the earnings should you really want to know more, at BDO is a very good company to invest in. That's why I'm still recommending it for long term. Alright, BDO for today. And then, Ani. Ani. Alright, si Ani. Um, use the support for your entry points. This is a triple bottom already. One, two, and three. And strong bounce when it hit it the third time. Ani is a buy. FNI on bounce. Si FNI nasa support area. Right. Solid support for FNI. Pag na green yan, that will be a good entry point for Ani. Okay, those are my picks for today. Er Ernie Medina, uh, PXP, masyado mataas na. Recommended that yesterday. Sir, last time if possible, gawa ka po ng video paano po mag-set up ng, uh, sa startup sa eToro. Hindi po mag mag kung paano ang funding. Wala po akong credit card. Hmm. Sige, sige. Gawa ko in the, uh, Sometime soon, right? Jeros de la, de la Calzada. Hi, Sir Lloyd. Nice seeing you again in person. Ako to last night sa SM. So, yes. Um, sa Jeros, nakita ko to kagabi sa SM. Hi, Jeros. Again, thanks sa learnings. Happy to help. Um, nice to meet you in person again. Um, Giselle, Alain, Mercado. 
Uh, somehow your message got retracted. Edgar Kabakungan. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Like and Apple. Good morning. Air Plata, sir, sorry, sir. Naputol walkthrough itoro. Uh, yun pong pagsaset ng buy or sell. Leverage, stop loss, and take profit, sir. Ah, okay. Sige, sige. I'll cover this really quick. For trading, um, let's go for... Uh, go to my virtual lang just to be sure. Hindi tayo magkamali. So, if you wanna trade... Let's say Bitcoin kasi open si Bitcoin ngayon. BTC or gold. Gold. Try natin si gold. Or oil kasi maganda ang support ni oil. Right, si oil. Right, so ganito. If you think oil is a buy already since maganda naman yung uh, maganda na yung support ni oil. If you, you can look at the chart and then you see that there's a support right here and gusto mo na siyang bilhin. You just click on trade right here. And this um, trading window should open. Make sure you are at buy. Usually, naka-default yan ka buy. Kasi pag sell ang pinindot ninyo, that's gonna be short selling it. If ever babagsak yan, kikita kayo. If ever aakyat, you're gonna lose money. Make sure you click on buy. Okay? Now, sa pending order, you can click on order. Itong dito. May trade dito. This is the first box is, kung trade nyo po, diretso yan kung ano ang current price na available. Right? Kung kahit anong presyo available, papasukin niya kaagad. But if you click on order, anong rate po gusto niyo pumasok? The price right now is 57.17. Right here, 57.17. The resistance is 57.50. Kung gusto mo breakout mangyari before ka maka-enter, at least may support ka. So around 57, uh, 57, uh, let's say 58. So let's go to that window again. Then go to order. And then, gusto mo pumasok at 58. Pag pumalo ng 58 yung presyo, sa kakapapasok. At least, break out siya and you're sure of the momentum. So, just click on 58. And then, this uh, this one right here. Ito yung pinaka-importante. Tingnan nyo po ano nakikita sa left side. Are you on the rate? And then, right now is the amount. Magkano gusto mo ilagay? So, 1,000 peso, uh, 1,000 dollars. Right there, gusto mo ilagay. The next one, you should click. Always, is leverage. I don't want to use one, times 1. If you wanna try leverage, use times two, but let's let's use times one lang, right? I really recommend if you're a newbie, times one lang muna. Now here's the stop loss. Okay, if you click on stop loss right here, click on the blue one. Magita nyo po rate po ang nakalagay jan. Rate meaning anong presyo ka lalabas. Pag rate anong presyo yan. But if you click on amount, magita nyo po amount na po nakalagay dito. That means the the amount you're you're putting in so you're putting in one thousand dollars magkano ang gusto mong cut loss mga negative three percent so that's around three hundred dollars so negative three hundred dollars so that's gonna be setting your stop loss at thirty percent now three hundred uh that's thirty percent so thirty dollars and so if thirty dollars then you are able to cut loss three percent from your current position okay yun lang po ang cut loss na sinaset ko on my position right now. So this is important. You click on the, uh, I mean, you look at the left side. Ano ang nakalagay dyan? If amount is the, uh, is the, is the, uh, <coughs> is the amount of your money, but if nakarate po yan, kung saan kayo lalabas. So if ever gusto nyo lumabas, 57.74 siya ngayon. If you wanna get out at around 57, so you can, you can, I mean 56, you can always put in 56. Pag na-hit yung presyo na 56 ng current price, lalabas po kayo yung buong port ninyo. And then also in take profit, same raman rate. If gusto nyo po uh, at what price kay lalabas at around 62, lalabas na yan. Or if the amount, click nyo po amount. Kung gusto nyo, if may gain kayo na $100, lalabas na kayo. It makes, just look at this left side, makikita nyo po kung ano talaga ang tinitingnan nyo. That's the purpose of that. And then, just set order and that should be it. Nakapending ako at 57. So if you look at my portfolio, hindi nyo pa po makikita ang oil. It's right here, pending orders, view. Right, so buy oil. Mamaya na yun, papasok, execute at 58. So, naka-pending order po siya. Pwede pong ganun. Right, so, yeah, that's a quick walkthrough for uh, for eToro. The good thing about this is, ang beauty po nun is, kahit natutulog ako, eh, nag-aabang ako ng breakout. Kahit natutulog ako, pag nag-breakout yun, automatically makakapasok yung port ko, and automatically makapag-stop loss siya. And automatically, what if mataas talaga yung akyat niya, automatically makapag-take profits po tayo habang tulog. That's how I trade right now. It's very convenient for me to trade in eToro. That's why I'm trading in eToro. Because you can automate your trading. Just set up, set it up properly when you try to trade. Okay? 
Okay, I hope that's clear. Just let me know if uh, if you need further, ano, cause I'll 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 prepare a more of a better presentation for tomorrow. Time check it's nine twelve. Anyways, maaga pa naman. May muntag Sir Lloyd. Oh, from Mike. Um, Michael Navarro, Meg sir, masyado mataas na si Meg. Mukhang pababa na si Meg. Eh. Right? Uh, we, we broke MA20 for Meg. Architrader, my buntag, Sir Lloyd. Any insights for PHA, GFC? Dagan salamat. PHA, mid to long term pa rin for PHA. Uh, this support is very good for PHA. If you wanna trade it, this is the best entry point actually. Pinakamagandang entry ngayon for PHA. Okay? Napakaganda. Nasa support ay kay PHA. And next is JFC. So JFC, the next bounce should be a good entry point. We have an engulfing pattern for JFC already. Engulfing pattern and there's the pullback. Ganda na yung price action ni JFC. The next green should be a good entry point for JFC. Recommendation ko for JFC is for long term. If it goes further down, just keep buying more. This is a very good opportunity to buy JFC while it's down. Um, Becca Tangan, good morning Sir Lloyd, insights po sa JFC, we just talk about JLS, JFC, LHC, masyado mataas na sa LHC, kaya I really don't wanna recommend it even though it's still going up. If you really wanna enter, position trader po tayo, hanap din ang position, pull back and bounce at MA20, like these entries right here. <clears throat> LHC, ISM, ISM, um, for long term recommendation ko for ISM, eh, just keep buying the dips of ISM. And I am eh. Thanks po. Hindi po ako na-add sa Itoro Pilipinas. Uh, join the Team Itoro Pilipinas. Nga pala guys. Um, little plug for the Team Itoro Pilipinas. I'm inviting you to join Team Itoro Pilipinas. No, not this one. Here. So, search for Team Itoro Pilipinas. This is our uh, our page right here. We're already up one 1,400 members. So, growing very good. Right? So, dito po nagtutulungan ang mga traders sa Itoro. And then, um, US Oil. Yan, umakyan na si Oil. Anyways, um, kung gusto niyo po matuto mag-scalping, right? kung, mar- kung gusto niyo matuto mag-scalping, if you're already at good at with, ano, with uh, what they call this, with um, trading, position trading, we teach scalping here and we teach it for free. Join this group. Right, makita nyo po dito mga earnings na mga ito. Um, gabi ang earnings na mga ito. <laughs> Kung mag, makascalp ang mga ito. Alright, especially now, oh, tingnan nyo, nis-scalp na. For sure, Richard New is watching right now. Nag-scalp ka na naman kay Oil and you're earning already. You te- uh, people here, the admins here are teaching scalping for free. Join the group. Team Itoro Pilipinas is gonna be helpful for your international market trading. Okay, um... Asa na ako? Sir, insights po kay ICT from Zenaida. Zenaida. Right, let's check out IC. Ah, si ICT masyado mataas eh. Mukhang pababa na si ICT eh. Still down on downtrend si ICT. Mukhang pababa pa ito. Um, can't recommend that yet. Jennifer Argosino, FLI po. Right, Phil Invest. Mukhang magpapahinga na si Phil Invest. I don't wanna recommend Phil Invest anymore. Because it's already way up there. I could be wrong. Pwede pang magtuloy-tuloy yung trend yan. Right? The trend line is right here. Use ME20 as your support if you really wanna enter FLI. Masyado mataas na po yan eh. Uh, Georgina CPX po. CPX, maganda yung galaw eh. Alright, possible support for PX here. Another green should be a confirmation for PX. Yes, that should be your entry if mag-green pen today. Ella Montefalco, good morning. Paulo Drew, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Insights po kay IRC. May disclosure po. Yes, if ever IRC bounces today, I'd say IRC is a, ba- is a buy. Joven Lee Plenos, good morning, Sir. Insights po kay Tech. Tech is a buy uh, for me. Um, narecommend ko yan kahapon sa Tech. Um, no pula siya, pero the support is still sustaining. Pag nag-green yan today, that's a, that's a buy for Tech. Time check, it's 9.16. Adonar Gourmet, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pasilip po ng Finn. Salamat po from Kuwait. Ah nga pala, before I go to that, plug ko lang po this weekend. Wala po tayong, uh, wala po tayong the Rich Mind na episode. That should be episode 3. Most probably next, next weekend na. Kasi po, sa, andan po tayo sa Italy this weekend. Right? Again, we're gonna be in Italy for this weekend. We're gonna have a seminar there. 
at sa mga kababayan po natin na nasa Italy, malapit po kay sa Rome, of kaya niyo pumunta sa Rome, Italy, because that's where the venue will be, um, join us, right? I'll be there, huwag niyo po sa yung opportunity, um, andyan po yung registration sa Facebook page ko po, pagpasok niyo, makikita niyo yung registration. Um, Join the seminar. We're going to be talking about handling your funds and ilalagay, magkano talaga invest, how to invest properly in the morning, and how to attain financial freedom. Financial Freedom 101 in the morning and the trading masterclass in the afternoon. I'm going to teach you um, the strategies I have on my trading. And it's going to be systematic teaching po. So it will be very be beneficial for you. August 4 in Italy. Punta po tayo dyan. I'll see you there. Adonar Gourmet. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pasilip po ng Finn. Salamat po from Kuwait. Ayan, si Finn. Oh. ma 20 for Finn. Use the ma 20 as your entry point for Finn. I don't want to recommend it since masyado mataas na and we have a very strong resistance right there. Then again, price action will tell you something is up. So, I guess bullish pa rin si Finn. And use ma 20 as your support. Joan Masipag. Hello, Sir Lloyd. Please ko kay C. Og X, Sir. Si X. May bounce yesterday si X. But again, guys, I don't want to recommend X. That's a. I don't trust the fundamentals of the company. Kaya medyo mahirap. Technical analysis wise, we are on a downtrend. We're seeing lower highs and lower lows. So, pa downtrend po po si X. Mamaya na po. We have too volatile for now. Si C naman. For long term, a recommendation ko dito. Just keep buying the dips of C. Right? We have a support bounce already for C. Uh, that's a triangle right there. Breakout should be a good entry point for C. Randolph Abarquez, good morning. Christian Casuar, good morning, Sir Lloyd. How about CSI? Ah, C Fen po. Right, we talked about Fen already. Kaka, kaka, an, ano lang natin. Michael Navarro, um, analysis for Globe. Globe is still bullish uh, until now. Kasi maganda naman yung management for Globe. It's just that we are, v are at very strong resistances for Globe. Um, most probably, a breakout from this resistance will be the best entry point for Globe. Okay? Uh, medyo... Lakas na resistance nito for Globe kasi eh. Hopefully, maka-breakout tayo dyan. Okay, for Globe. Emily Goltiano, thanks, you're welcome. Eric Cañete, hi Sir Lloyd, ISM po. ISM just keep buying the dips. LTG, ito, maganda si LTG. LTG, Lusutan Group. Okay, so LTG just bounce at the support. Um, I'd say, yeah, time to bodega LTG. Um... Medyo bumababa si LTG. There's a possibility na pwede pa itong bumagsak dito eh. This, but this is a good support for LTG. I'd say test this support. Pag nag-green yan today, yeah, pwede nyo po testingin yung support na yan for LTG. Mark Lizazo, good morning Sir Lloyd. International market po, CNC. Insights nyo po, strong, uh, strong buy din kasi kay Itoro. Let's check out CNC. CNC. Centene Corporation, NYSE. Yeah, this is starting to go on a reversal already. Yeah, packet na ito. We have a... Actually, meron... Nag-break out ito kahapon eh. This is a possible resistance right here for the last trend niya. Yeah, pag nag-green yan today, I'd say I'd buy this. I'll I'll check out CNC's uh, fundamentals today, okay? Uh, tingnan kayo mamaya. No, not Citigroup, CNC. Tingnan natin research ng mga analysts. Oh yeah, strong buy. Even uh, even the the ano, the low estimates is still a buy. This is a good find, Centene. Pasukin ko ito today. All right, thank you for look uh, for finding this. I'll read more about Centene and then I'll put a pending order on a breakout for Centene. Uh, sino pa nag Mark si Mark Lizaso. Thank you for this. All right, I'll check this out today. I'll write down CNC. Guys, tingnan niyo rin po ito. You can trade on your own on the international market check out cnc good find mark good job getting better galing jo joven lee plenos tech pusher just keep buying the support air plata sir ask ko lang po may stock screener din po ba sa trading view like kay investor grounds mag guide naman po ty ah, sadly wala po eh wala pong stock screener si trading view carlo ben ben Na obra. right good morning sir lloyd Side insights ka atn recommended atn yesterday it's already bouncing um, hopefully you can still get in the support for ATN. But this was the best entry point at uh, at the support for ATN. Actually, overall, pwede pa yan eh. For long term naman yung purpose ko ay ATN. 
JC Lazaro, good morning Sir Lloyd. Pacheck naman po si Holsim and Web. 9.22 time check, so bilisan ko lang po. Uh, we're almost out of time. Holsim, ito MA20 for Holsim. Use MA20 as your support should you really want to get in. The reason why I do not recommend Holsim, siya naman taas na po si Holsim for me. Um, si Web naman, and si Web nag-gap down yesterday pero binili. Ang ganda ng volume. I will recommend Web again because... Um, web is gonna be exp expanding this year, so I think Web is still gonna go bullish, right? Um, congratulations sa mga nakinig sa akin na keep bodega lang kay Web. I think Web is gonna be doing well the next coming years. So look for an entry already. Ang ganda ng volume ni Web yesterday. Pwede niyo pong bilhin po yan. Um, Glenn Lopez, MYD, PXP, Sir Lloyd. MYD, yesterday ko po yan na-recommend. It's still good to enter today. Um, pwede pa habulin, right? As much as possible if you can get in your support. But yeah, nakalipad na si MY. Pero hindi naman gaano kalaki yan. PXP masyado mataas na. Tsaka Sir Cutlass na ba Shell PH, LTG at Primex? Shell PH. Ito la. Wala pa eh. Hindi pa Cutlass or Shell eh. Ang ganda yung price action pa nga eh. We have a possible support right here. This is the uptrend support. This is the main support. So it's up to you if you wanna cut. Ah, hindi ko alam kasi saan ka pumasok. Send me a message sa Financial Freedom 101. See, we, we can talk more about it. LTG. Ang ganda na support ni LTG eh. Right? It's not yet cut loss levels. We have supports right here. And then, si Primex, if you enter the support, that's the support right there. Hindi nag, hindi nag ano eh, hindi nag, ano si LTG. Yeah, I think na hit na yung, uh, na -hit na yung cut loss. Or not yet. I usually cut loss negative 3% below support. Yeah, I guess na hit na yung cut loss. So, yeah, I, that's a cut loss already. It touched the lower Bollinger Band, so I guess babagsak pa ito si Primex. Let's see what will happen in the future. Sadly, si Primex hindi nagsustain. Um, Ron, kunanan, Sir Lloyd, paano ba mag-take profit sa eToro? Simply, you just um, portfolio, for example, you just click on this one right here, and then uh, click this guy and then you can uh, you can stop copying para for copy trading na take profits or sa main portfolio po ninyo for example si Microsoft just click on this and then close i-close nyo lang po yan ito take profits na po yan kaagad right here just click on close um, patingin ng watch list mo sa eToro Sir Lloyd uh, my watch list right, this is my watch list so, so I-replay nyo na lang mamaya since we don't have time anymore. Uh, ADP, and then here it's here are my watch list for international market. Meron, meron ba dyan sa baba? So, I just check this every now and then, itong mga stocks na ito. Oliver de Guzman, sir, IDC. Masyado mataas pa si IDC. Sir, si Pfizer, PFI. Pfizer Limited, NYSE, Incorporated. Alright, si Pfizer, pa downtrend pa eh. Lakas ng sell-off eh. I think pangit yung earnings ni Pfizer, kaya ganun. I'll check this out. Please check this out. Bakit nag-drop si Pfizer? Okay. Um, Oka Vidal, but blurred sa akin. Most probably, your internet is slow kasi si YouTube, in automatically binablurred niya yan kasi mahina ang internet. Just look for your faster internet and you can review the video. Okay, that's it for today. It's already 9.25. I'll see you again tomorrow. PSE, it's gonna be very challenging. It's already July 30 and August month is coming. The ghost month is gonna be coming soon. PSE, wala pang volume. So it's gonna be very challenging trading in PSE. I do not recommend trading in PSE right now. Kasi usually po, nagkakamali ang technical analysis when it comes to bearish uh, na mga movements sa uh, stock market and ghost month is coming so you don't have to be aggressive right now abangan nyo lang po kung kailan mag, mag rally ulit ang market saka naman tayo mag trade okay that's it for today I'll see you again tomorrow as always let's get rich together bye everyone